ever find yourself in this situation it's sold out you go to check out this other website and someone's selling one for 70 dollars so you know what let's make one ourselves now for this i'll be using the inferno squad sprue but you can also use the intercessors or the assault intercessors both work really well and are extremely cheap after push assembling the model, I decided to cut off all the extra pieces that I will not be needing, mainly the shoulder pad, as it was connecting to another arm that was holding the gun. Then using Sentamaya Extra Thin Cement, I glued the model together and put it onto the base. I got out my two boxes of treasures, which is essentially my collection of a very large amount of bits. I also couldn't help myself but, you know, try on some different parts, just to imagine what this model could have also been. I also found the sword feather and chest that would fit perfectly, but that's not the spirit of this challenge. I looked around in the box for just a little bit longer and I found the exact piece I was looking for, which you can find in the upgrade sprue for the Black Templars. It's not a one-to-one -one copy of that sword, but it's extremely close. And then for the arm, I used this piece, which I actually realized just now that it's not exactly the same one, but it's very close. For the head, I did consider using the Reaver one, but in the end I went with the headless one as I want to practice painting faces a bit more. After I glued on the arms, I realized there was a bit of a hole in there, so I used some of the sprue goo to fill in the gap just to make sure the arm was going to be secure. And our judiciary was done. Time to slap on some paint and turn into a black templar, for which I'll be using the dark sea blue. For this, I opted on to go for the dry brushing as it's a very easy way to get edge highlighted look without a lot of the effort. It's definitely nowhere near as clean, but it's a very easy way to get it fast. And then adding a bit of white to our dark sea blue to go in for a highlight, slowly building up to it. I've actually never painted a Black Templar using these specific colors or this specific style, but I did want to experiment. After the dry brushing was done, I wanted to do some manual edge highlights, but just a little bit on the tops of some of the parts. Hopefully making them pop a little bit more and just making the model look a bit more exciting. I also couldn't help myself but to try to experiment a little bit and spice up this painting. So I went with this sort of a mixed hybrid style where I tried to apply this sort of, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, a highlight to some of these panels to make him a little bit more dimensional than just, you know, flat. Moving on to the gold for which I use Green Stuff World Antique Gold and Vallejo Metal Color Gold. Mixing them together and adding a bit of bronze just to make it a bit warmer. This is definitely my favorite gold as it applies like absolute magic. It's a single layer, it goes on perfectly, but be careful if you accidentally get it onto your model, it will go everywhere. I also got a little bit over enthusiastic and painted a lot of extra parts gold. Moving on to the burnt red for which I used pearl krill for no other reason as it was just on my palette. I wasn't exactly sure what color of shoulder pads the judiciar would have, so I went with sword brethren colors and it was also a little bit easier than painting white, and uh, if I could avoid it, I'd rather not paint white shoulder pads. For the skin color, I went with Bugsman Glow, and then added a tiny bit of white for the highlight. And applied as this almost a thin glaze all over the Bugman Glow. Then adding even more white and dry brushing it over the face. It's sort of a weird style that I wanted to experiment with, as I usually paint very awful looking faces. Then I took some Gilman Flesh and added a bit of Flow Improver just to try to give a bit more depth to the skin. Which honestly worked too well as the skin color was almost an identical match for my own and looking back on the playback, it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> but it was extremely quick. Then I grabbed some deep red and used it on the lens part of the glass. Optical? I'm not sure. The eye replacement bit. I also dry brushed on the metallics as it was a very quick way to get the look I wanted to go for. I wish I used Gunmetal Gray from Vallejo Metal Colors. For what I assume is actually a Psyker Skull, I decided to use a little bit of white and then come back in with Contrast Skeletal Horde, which I personally think is probably the easiest way to get a really decent looking tabletop bone color. For the white, I used the exact same Liquitex as before, grabbing a bit more of that deep red and going over the shoulder pads just to give a bit more highlights. I also wanted to do a bit more contrast in the face, so I grabbed some of the previous color I did right before I applied the Bugsman Glow, which gave it a perfect highlight that I personally thought gave a bit more depth to the face. I also forgot to paint the holster, so I mixed a bit of yellow into the burnt red it was using previously and created this sort of a brownish color. And applied this quick checker pattern, which I often enjoy in the leather, before going in for our Sword Brethren decos. And as always, struggling to get it off that paper. I usually use a bit of Microsoul before I apply it from the paper, but it, half the time it tears it, so I decided to do it afterwards. For those wondering, Microsoul essentially melts some of the plastic of the transfer sheet and makes it look a bit more like it was actually painted on. Then I based the model, and we were done. Thanks for watching, and as always, consider liking, subscribing, disliking, all that other stuff. I personally think it's worth buying the upgrade sprue for the Black Templars just because it has so many awesome parts, but you could definitely find those two bits for under $10. Also, to get some of the cheap Space Marine parts or just Space Marines in general, look into Troll Trader. They ship from the UK, but usually stuff arrives pretty quick, and I personally usually get a lot of good deals from there, but definitely look into your local hobby stores.